right, good morning everyone. So I am in the kitchen. I know I said that I wasn't gonna make um, videos in the kitchen, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm making something different, and so why not? We're gonna make a stew using um, bacon and ground beef. I've got the dishes going, I took a shower, I've got the coffee, it's really hot, and so we're just gonna cook. So come join me. We've got ground beef here. We've got, let's see, we've got the pan here. We've got, let me lower it. We've got bacon. We've got onion and peppers. And we have cans of, hey TV, how are you? We are going to be cooking, okay? Welcome to the live. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. So we're going to be cooking. I'm going to get started. I don't know if you can see the pan. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do to the stew is we're going to add bacon. And it's four slices of bacon. And we're just going to let that cook until it gets crispy. How are you? Hey, Mark, how are you? We are going to make stew today, Mark. And I'm making stew with um, bacon and ground beef. So I've got four slices of bacon. And we're gonna cook that until it gets crispy. I'm glad you're getting better, Mark. That makes me so happy. I always worry about every single one of you. I know um, some of you aren't feeling well. Thank you. Hey, Super Rainbow Queen, how are you? Good morning. Hi, Jason. How are you? Yeah, so the stew is going to be with um, with bacon and ground beef. It's a little bit different, but a lot of this stuff I get from the food pantry. So four slices of bacon. We've got some onion and bell pepper. You're supposed to use two cans of pork and beans, but I only had one can. So I'm going to use a can of pinto beans to add to it and then two cans of tomato sauce or yeah, tomato soup. It's something very simple. It's beef. It's beef stew, Jason, with bacon. So all this, the, the cans of... Um, of beans and the tomato soup and the bell pepper. This all came from, um, <laughs> this all came from the food pantry. And sometimes when you get stuff from the food pantry, you have to be really creative. Um, hey, Rosalie, welcome in. How are you? So I see we have quite a bit of people in here. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Oh, good, Jason. Yeah, it, it's just cooked a little bit different. you Rosalie um, I'll go back and um, yeah when I'm done here I'll definitely go back and um, watch the lives and the videos thank you Jason oh are you at work Oh, 
did you mark? I missed that. Are you going to start doing lives, Mark? Woo, this bacon is popping and sizzling over here. It smells good, though, guys. I love the smell of bacon. I mean, who doesn't love the smell of bacon, right? Oh, good, Mark. Hey, it's okay if you only did three minutes. It's just to test it out. But that's really cool that you're going to start doing that. Yes, Rosalie. I'm glad you can still watch from work. I'm so glad y'all are all here with me. It's early, guys. I'm cooking early. Hey, Mark the Shark. How are you? So, guys, it is 8.06 in the morning where I'm at. But I'm making dinner early because it's still hot in Texas. And so I try to get done with some of the stuff by 10. I did enjoy my trip, Jason. I hope you all enjoyed all the videos I put out. And I did go live a couple of times while I was down there, too. Mark, you're going to have to let... Yep. I'm glad you all enjoyed the videos. Bacon's starting to get crispy. <clears throat> Once the bacon gets crispy, then I'm going to add in the onion and the bell pepper. I am going to take just a little bit of the grease out. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. You do want some of that grease to stay in because of the flavor. But this baking grease will also come in handy for some other stuff. So I'm going to add the um, onion and bell pepper. You can use green bell pepper if you have it, but I don't have woo, green bell pepper. So... Okay. Wow, Mark, is that afternoon? Oh, Mark, we have two Marks in here. Mark the Shark, are you excited? Two weeks to Hawaii. That is exciting. Have you already got all your stuff packed? Or are you one of those that, that pack last minute? Oh, I'm sorry, Jason. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. Rosalie, it's 9.06 where you're at. I'm sorry, Jason. I'm going to pray that you feel better. So we've got the onion, the bacon, the bell pepper. Um, let me turn this off so y'all can hear me better. Uh, and I'm going to cook this until the onions are translucent. Yeah, that's what you were saying last time, um, Mark, that they were working on your on your lot there. Mark, how's your um, sister doing? Mark the shark, is your sister doing okay? I know the last time we chatted, you said she was... Um, Finally getting out of, moving around, getting out of bed. Okay, Mark. Oh, wow. Short-term memory loss. Sorry to hear that, Mark. But, you know, the good thing is, is she's, she's still here and she's, I'm hoping she's, um, is she starting to get out of bed?
good. That's good. That's that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would imagine so that she still is cuz that's that's a lot and it that's a lot to go through. But I'm still going to I'm going to be praying for your sister Mark and praying for everybody. There's a lot of people struggling right now going through hard times. And so definitely definitely y'all are all in my heart. Yeah, guys, if you have a wrench, please don't forget to drop your links. And if you can drop mine for me, that'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, okay, Mark. Jeep surgery on phone, re prescription. You're filling your prescription, Mark Adventures? onion and the um, bell pepper bacon cook a little bit longer and then I'm going to add some ground beef. Give me one second. somebody's walking by. All right, we're going to add the ground beef now. So if y'all are just coming in, I'm making beef stew, but I used four slices of bacon, let that cook till it got crispy, took a little bit of the grease out. Um, then you add some onion and bell pepper, let that get translucent, cook up and everything. Um, thank you. And then you add ground beef. So I'm adding a pound of ground beef to that. Let me wash my hands. If you, um, welcome back, Mark. If you use the food pantry, this is a very frugal meal. Um, and even if you don't use the food pantry, this is still a frugal meal. Um, either way. Because this is something that you can eat a couple of days on or eat leftovers. And that's always good. Oh, okay, Mark. I'm glad they got the medicine sorted out for you. So you're just going to cook the ground beef until it is cooked thoroughly. And it's going to be good with all the flavors of the bacon, the onion, the bell pepper. Morning, son. How are you? What are you guys cooking up today? Let me show you what this looks like. Hopefully I can, let's see. I don't know. Can y'all see it? So it's just the meat, the peppers, the onion and everything in there. It smells really good right now in the house.
Yeah, Mark. So you don't use them now, but you have before. Yeah, it, it really does help out a lot. Check that out, Mark. Yep, I'll definitely have to look at that. I like learning how to cook from other people and see what they're cooking. Cooking up some beef stew. I'm good, thank you. I'm just cooking early, Slim. So the beef stew that I'm making, um, I did four slices of bacon and browned it up and um, added some bell pepper, some onion. I just added the ground beef, so that's going to cook. It's kind of like a... It's a frugal, um, a frugal meal, Slim. Rosalie, you're still here. You're just working. Yep, I'm having some coffee too. I just made, I took a shower. Um, and um, this morning, you can see I still haven't painted my nails. But um, I'm drinking coffee as well. Got a pot going. I wanted to cook early because it gets hot here still. We're still, guys, we're still having like 98, 99 degrees in Texas. Can you believe it? Like, it is so hot here. I can't even open up my doors or windows yet. It's ridiculous. Hey, Sarah, how are you? It, yeah, exactly. It's way too hot. It, it is warm here. I, I was looking forward to like you know, a cold front coming through or something that I can open up my windows and doors because my electricity bill is just way too high. So, I mean, my bill was $300, you know, and it's like, oh. Yeah, I know a lot of you are, um, hi, ABA or a ABA. And um, I wish it was cool here, trust me. Hey, Bustamu, welcome in. I am cooking in the kitchen. I enjoyed your live last night. <clears throat> oh, wow, Mark. Did y'all get, y'all got a lot of rain? That's, I mean, we need the rain here for sure. Not too much rain, but we need the rain. Ooh, it is smelling good in this kitchen. Guys, don't forget you y'all can drop your links I mean I know all of you already know each other but I also caught the tail end of um, Slim and Kathy's um, live too I hope Kathy's feeling better
Oh, wow. So some of the places got flooded, huh? Oh, good, Slim. I'm glad she's doing good. Yeah, I caught a little bit of y'all's live. I really like what you did to your hair, Slim. It looks really nice. This meat is almost browned up. You're welcome, Slim. And then we're gonna add the, um, the beans and the tomato soup. <clears throat> I'm just being creative in the kitchen, guys, using up what the food pantry gives me. So, <clears throat> okay, got it, Mark. You know, I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start, like, I never really do this, but I always like to learn different things and different stuff. And so I'm actually going to look up different parts of the world and their weather and see what's going on. Like, I'm always just, I... I mean, I live in Texas, so it's always like Texas weather or whatever, but um, I definitely think I'm going to start looking up the weather in other parts of the area. Yeah, Slim, she was. I just caught the tail end of it, but she looked really tired. Hey, Virginia, how are you? Welcome in, everybody. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. We're just cooking in the kitchen this morning. And this is going to actually be dinner tonight. I'm just cooking it early. Oh, wow. That's interesting, Mark. Just a couple more minutes for the ground beef and then I'll add the other ingredients. And guys, if y'all can do me a favor, I'm just, um, Try, I am trying to get monetized, so if y'all can go back and watch my lives and just let them run or my videos and hit the thumbs up and let them run, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I've been doing that with a lot of you guys. I've been going back and letting it run, um, even if it's running all night. Um, I know some people have like two hour, three hour um, lives that they do, and I just let it run. Yeah, for watch hours, exactly. That's all I need is watch hours. I think I'm almost at 2,000 watch hours. I'm like at 1,000 something. And so, um, all right, we're gonna add the other ingredients. So I have a can of drained pinto beans I'm adding. I have, oop, I made a mess. I have pork and beans. You're supposed to, I, I wanted to use two cans of pork and beans, but um, I didn't have two. And then two cans of tomato sauce, or tomato soup, sorry. Yeah, so watch hours are basically when you watch somebody's video, you let it, you let it go all the way through um, cause I know, I know some people might only watch like three minutes of a video or five minutes, but if you let it run all the way through, yeah, to get monetized, yeah, slim.
And so every, if everybody, if you want to get monetized, if everybody helps each other out and lets the videos run all the way through, then you can get your, um, your watch hours. Add a tiny bit of water or actually I'll just add can of water and then turn it down a little bit and I'll show you what this looks like here in just a second I'm just getting it all together water Mark yes you do no, don't eliminate your videos. Leave them running because what I do is I'm going back to y'all's older videos and I'm watching them and hitting the thumbs up. So don't you dare erase any of those videos, Mark. <laughs> you leave them on there. being the boss today. <laughs> Cause you know, you, it's a lot of work making videos and you might not think that your videos, you know, might be worth watching or, you know, teaching or whatever, but they are like you worked hard for those videos. So leave them up. And I'm the type that I will go back and I, I'm watching everybody's um, older videos and I am letting y'all's videos run because I want y'all to get your watch hours. So, <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna show you, I turned it on low. I'm excited to try this. This is my first time making this, so. Let's see, can y'all see? So it's just a little, it's just a stew. It's got bacon, it's got beef, it's got beans, it's got tomato soup, it's got um, onion and bell pepper. And you can taste it and then you can add um, whatever you want to it. So like, I don't add salt to my food because the canned foods that they give us from the food pantry have a lot of, yep, teamwork, that's right. It's teamwork. Yes, you can serve it over rice. You can probably put it on a potato. You can make a side salad on the side. Um, absolutely. You can eat it as is with crackers, um, garlic bread. Yeah, exactly, Slim, Slim. Pasta, you can put it over anything to make it a really hearty meal. Hey, Frosty Broccoli, how are you? And so, yeah, you can, you can, that's the good thing about these meals is your potatoes, your rice, and your pasta are like your hearty basis. So when you make a stew or a soup, um, absolutely you can put it on, on that, you know? And like I said, you can serve it with bread, with garlic bread or whatever, and then a side salad also to make it a full meal. And this is a good meal to have. I mean, I know it's not fall here, but these are really good. Like the stews and soups are good for fall and winter. And so. Let's give it a try. 
I'll let you know exactly how it tastes. Oh yeah, getting that bacon, the beef, everything in here. Let me let it cool for just a minute. I'll let you know exactly. Yeah, me too. I also make um, carrot ginger soup, butternut squash soup, um, chicken noodle. Oh, beautiful, Slim. Our, we get, we don't, here in Texas, we don't get a lot of change in color. I mean, we do sometimes, like, but you have to, like, drive out to, like, Fredericksburg or, or Bernie or, like, the other little towns around us. Um, and so, I mean, Yes, please, because I don't get to see a lot of that stuff. And so if y'all can post pictures or videos of the changing of the season, I would absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. This is like really hot. Ooh, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, post your pictures. Um, or make video because we don't see that here in Texas. Oh, wow. Freezing temperatures are ready. Wow, Frosty. Not here. We're still in the high 90s. There we go. The stew is done. Now I can just actually just chit chat with you guys. We have some coffee. Yep, a lot of y'all are already seeing frost. I'm just waiting for the first cold front. Now, they said we were supposed to have one on Sunday, but um, they said, you know, it ain't going to make much of a difference. I mean, I can't even turn the air off until it reaches 80 here because of the humidity. No, we don't, Mark. We don't have rolling blackouts. Hey, Deborah, how are you? I just got done cooking a stew. Um, Mark, the only time we had rolling blackouts here was when it snowed in Texas a couple of years ago and the power was coming off and on like every hour, two hours, you know, 20, like it was all night long. But that, that was the only time we got rolling blackouts. I mean, when it storms here, we lose power and stuff, but you know what we did when it snowed here in Texas? Like, of course, everything shuts down in Texas when it snows or ice is over. Like, it's so funny. But what we did was we set up a tent in the living room and because the power wasn't on and it was really cold. And so we all huddled in a tent and it kept us warm in the living room um, and we slept almost all night. So I know a few people in Texas, um, I don't know them personally, but there was a couple of people who lost their lives in that storm because it got so, I mean, it got cold and it snowed for two days. So, which is uncommon here where I'm at. So, I mean, we're in other places like Slim and like where Slim's at, and, you know, where other people at, they don't care about it. They just... They drive in the snow, you know, that's the weather that they're used to. But 
here like it's a big thing like even if it ices over like the bridges and stuff they completely shut it down so everybody hunkers inside it's the funniest thing and it's a good thing we can still cook because that'd be cool mark late summer or fall The only way I can see stuff is I watch it through you. I'm really not like a huge traveling person. I mean, I know we went down to the coast for my son's birthday, but I'm going to tell you something. I haven't been anywhere in years. So that was like our first um, family vacation for his birthday in a long time. I'm usually at home or around this area. So y'all need to post videos and pictures. Like I love seeing all your travels and everything. I'm just going with the flow. I have no idea what's even happening tomorrow. Oh, and you know what I did do? Okay, so our sunroom needs to be fixed, right? We have a leak. The seam of the sunroom is leaking. I called yesterday to get quotes on how much it would charge, how much they would charge to come fix it. And you know what everyone told me? I called a couple of places and they told us to fix it ourselves. That it would be cheaper to fix it ourselves. So I don't know, like if nobody really wants to work anymore or if they were really trying to save us money but the one of the guys um he did tell us how to do it and so it's like okay so this weekend we are going to be fixing and it's not the whole sunroom that needs to be fixed it's just um two of the seams because when we had a really bad hailstorm it cracked um part of it on the top and so the only thing is, is it's hard to get up there because it's glass and with the seam, we don't know how bad it is. You can't climb on top of that. So I don't know, we're, we might have to build a scaffold or maybe rent a scaffold, which we don't have a lot of money to do that, but it's probably cheaper than paying somebody to come out and do it. So a lot of times now we're having to fix everything ourselves, which yes, it's cheaper when you do that. Yeah, home improvement, and then you're going to learn something new. So this is going to be our first time doing it. And when my husband fixes things, I help him. Um, and so it's going to be interesting to, um, I mean, we got the name of the stuff that we need to fix it. And they have it at like Home Depot or Lowe's. And so, yeah, YouTube, exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do. YouTube has everything. Bye, Bus and Move. Hey, Northern girl, welcome in. Thank you for coming in, Bust the Move. Yeah, um, I just got done cooking, Northern girl. Um, it was a very simple, frugal um, dish. All things was priceless. Welcome in. Um, and so, yeah, it came. I already tasted it. It came out really good. Hi, um... Oh my goodness. I don't know how to pronounce some of y'all's names. You're from Indonesia. Welcome in. Yu Hong? Or is it? Thank you. Yep. Yeah, so uh, you can go back and watch if you if you missed the beginning of it, but it's super easy and um, I had all the ingredients. Hey Jake, welcome in. So I'll de I do have some potatoes, so I think what I'll do is I'll just put some potatoes in the oven to bake and then uh, make a salad and there's a whole meal for dinner. And then I'll use some of the, like save some of the potatoes because I have a, um, a can of like brown gravy. So that will be good over the, and then I'll make broccoli on the side or something like when we're done with this. 
So I actually love like, um, I mean, we listen guys. So <clears throat> get this. When we got back from our trip, we went to the food pantry and I see what they give us. And then I incorporate just some vegetables uh, because they don't give us a lot of produce. Um, they give us some produce, but not a lot. You know, just getting some of the produce for, um, and I, what did I get? I got a bag of apples. I got carrots, zucchini, um, green squash, and what else did I get? I got like five or six things. I'm not even joking. And it was $85. And I was like, $85 for freaking vegetables? Are you insane? So I refuse. I am not doing it anymore. i rather go and get, um, go to the um, garden center and get my plants to start my garden because that's still way cheaper than buying it in the store. That's nuts. Like, it's insane. You, I mean, you can't even just buy vegetables, like $85. That's absolutely not. I mean, I'm not even joking. It was like five or six things. That's it. It was, it was crazy. So not doing that. Ridiculous. The prices here in Texas have gone up so much. I mean, I know they've gone up everywhere, but I think I'll just stay out of the stores for a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Mark, it's getting, it's getting so hard to, to even live. Like I'm almost at the point where I don't even give a crap about the heat no more. I almost just want to turn the AC off because I don't want to pay $300 on my next bill. You know, But, but it is fun to be creative with what, um, yep. Slim, I think that's, I think that's everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing. The only time I have my lights on you guys is when I'm in the room. So like I'm in the kitchen, the kitchen lights on. When I'm done, the light comes off. Like all my house is dark unless we're in a room. And even if we're in a room, we have windows. So we, you know, we use the natural lighting. I don't do laundry um, unless it's early in the morning, like six o'clock in the morning or late at night. I don't do it during the day. Like I'm, I'm comfortable, um, with things to watch out for. And it was still 300. And I'm like, go figure. Like where? You know? So, I mean, it's getting to the point now where I'm going to have to start draw, drying the laundry outside and yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I'm trying to save money in different areas, but it's ridiculous. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know, Mark. I don't, I don't know where they figure. Hey, Bud Files. I, I don't know. I think it's just, yeah. Yep. They're sucking his dry is what they're doing. You know, I think that's why a lot of people, yep. See, there you go. I think that's why a lot of people are pulling away. And I know there's a lot of people who are going off grid. They're pack, packing it. They don't care no more. They're like, I ain't paying any of that. You know, it's, it's getting ridiculous. We're just going to have to be more creative. That's all. And I'll share it. I, I have a few, you know, 
I think it's a good idea too for everybody to share frugal ideas and what you do to save money and post it, like make a video of it to help everybody out. Yeah, Mark. Yep. Yeah, I bet it is hard with a, in an apartment to do that. <clears throat> but that could be some good ideas, guys. Um, if everybody can post a video on like being frugal, what you make. I know Slim made a video on her cabbage, rice, and ground beef. I made one on cabbage, beef, and corn. This is a frugal meal. Like what else do y'all do to try to be frugal or save money or ideas and, and post it and we can all learn from each other to try to get these bills knocked down. Okay, Mark. I got it to set up a van to live in a bus. Yeah, you know what? Bus and Move actually is living in a bus and she's going to be doing some videos she's take she's packing everything out of the bus right now and she's going to be working on the ceiling and the floor and so um yeah yeah rosalie we can all learn from each other to try to get these bills knocked down for sure. I mean, there's just a lot of things that are upcoming that I'm just not going to be buying anymore. Sometimes you have to pick and choose what you're purchasing. You know, it's either you eat or, you know, you go shopping or you pay your bills or you go gambling. Like it's just, you pick and choose, you know, I mean, if you have the money to do it, that's all fine and dandy, but yeah, I know you dehydrate and freeze a lot of stuff. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Mark. But definitely I am going to look in the account and see uh, how much we have and if we're okay. And I, I do need to get that garden bed started. Um, but I think what I'm, it's kind of too late for seeds. I think I'm not sure, but I am going to go to the garden centers and get like the broccoli and, um, cabbage, like the bigger plants, because the bigger plants, um, you know, they'll won't take as long and hopefully we'll have some stuff by, um, the end of October, November. Yeah. Good Mark. Yeah, I watch y'all your dehydrating videos. I have a dehydrator myself. So once we get our fall garden going and I want to plant some herbs and stuff, you know, guys, <clears throat> your celery leaves, you can take your, the, you know, buy the whole thing of celery and you could take the leaves and um, put them in the oven at 160 for three hours and dry your leaves kind of like you would a dehydrator, but you're using your oven and um, dry them and store them in a jar and they're good to throw into soups and stuff. So that's what I'm learning too. I'm learning, can I use all of this plant or can I use all of this? And so nothing goes to waste. Because I, what other leaves, I think, can you eat beet greens or something like that? Like figuring out how to incorporate, um, like all the stuff so nothing goes to waste. I mean, back in the day, you know, <clears throat> they didn't waste anything. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I myself am almost out of coffee again. But I won't be purchasing it. So I have a lot of tea still. So um, I'll be drinking a lot of tea. Yeah, I would like to see more videos like that, Mark. Mm-hmm. 
Another thing too is like, um, I ran out of laundry soap. It's been a while since I've had laundry soap, but I've been making my own laundry soap and it works just fine. I still need to make the video of um, the Dawn soap. If y'all buy Dawn soap, I don't know, but I'm sure you can use any type of, of soap, I would imagine, to clean your laundry. Yeah, the beetroot leaves. Okay, raspberry leaves are good in teas. Oh, okay, and headaches and stomach. Yep, exactly, Mark. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I want to I wanna grow, you know, I'm going to try to grow lavender, cilantro, chives, um, um, thyme, sage, mint. Mint is good for upset stomachs. My mother-in-law, she grew mint and she would take three to four mint leaves if you had an upset stomach, clean them off and you would chew them and drink them with water and that would cure your stomach, um, upset stomach like that. And it's also good for like peppermint and stuff is good for like heartburn and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, and, and y'all see, I made, let's see. And this too, if y'all saw my video, I did the garlic and honey in a jar. And, um, this is supposed to be good for joint pain, high blood pressure. Um, it takes 30 days to vermin and then, so, and then after that, you can put it on, on stuff or you can take a teaspoon of it every single day. But this is natural medicine right here, guys. Natural medicine. Yeah, exactly. And I know, I know with us using the food pantry, we can't always, but if you incorporate, um, things like that, then you're still better off. I mean, yeah, God gave us what we needed, you know, natural stuff. Um, and so, <clears throat> but we all have to do, we all can do what we need to do. We try, don't we? You have to use what you have. But herbs are really good. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of people too, like there's a rosemary tea you can make, a sage tea, um, chamomile tea is good, all kinds of stuff. That's good, Mark. Yep, that's really good. I'll tell you what, I haven't been prepping prepping um, as nearly as I should, but I think it's because I'm just a go with the flow person. Like when everything happened a couple of years ago with the virus and stuff, I wasn't the one running about with my head off. I just, I didn't care. I was the one that wasn't scared. I didn't, you know, it's because you can only prep so much, I think. And yes, you can try to be prepared, but um, things never work out the way you plan it. And so I just don't plan anything. I just go with the flow. Whatever happens today happens today. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> Minty Cactus, welcome in. How are you? Um, I'm going to try Minty Cactus. Let's see. Do you, you know who, um, oh, I don't know how to go about doing that, Minty. Um, I guess what I can do is put my email in one of my descriptions. Slim has my um, 
my email if you want to get with Slim, Minty. I'm glad you're doing well. Bye, Slim. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Can you give me a... Hold on. I got one right here. Hold on. I'm... Oh, my goodness. I need my glasses. You... Gotcha, Minty. I will contact you after I get off here and um, for sure. Thank you for that. Nope, absolutely. I will, Minty, for sure. I'd love to get to know you guys more. Absolutely. All of you are amazing. Don't forget that. I appreciate every single one of you. And I, I'm learning so much from you guys too. And I love that I've met such wonderful people on here. Because you're really not sure. Like when you come on here, you're like, ooh, you know, you don't know who to trust or who not, you know. But I'm so glad I found awesome people. Thank you, Minty. <clears throat> but yeah, so if y'all missed the beginning of this video um, on how I made the stew, it's very simple. It's very easy. Um, it's frugal. Hi, Lucky Melinda. Welcome in. Um, guys, just note when you come on here, my mods will check you out. And if you're not of age, they will boot you out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to be on here much longer because I need to put this away. I've got eggs to test and put away for my chickens. I got to put dirt in the garden beds and um, have a lot of um, other things that I need to do. But I'm so glad that y'all joined me. Yeah, just like that, Mark. <laughs> Bam, out. <laughs> um, I'm glad that you joined me for cooking. I am going to get out of here and I'm going to leave it like this because I always do. Um. Oh, sorry, Minty. Thank you. So I'm going to leave it like this. No matter where you're at in life, find joy, find peace, treat each other good. Always stay positive um, because the world is already tough as it is. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming on here.